that's not even my dressing gown. She's looking raggedy. Okay, this is my makeup dressing gown. It's soft and it's fluffy and it's comfy, okay? Sips tea. Hashtag lovely. I'm so memeable, wow. <laughs> Hey huns, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is going to be a really chilled out get ready with me. Basically watch me plaster my face with makeup. I got asked to do this look yesterday or the day before. I don't know, I wore it to film another video. The last video I've seen, I wore the same makeup with different lashes and a girl asked me to do a video on it. And I wanted to do get ready with me. So I was like, feck it, let's just do it on this. I really want to do more get ready with me's because I'm not great at makeup, but I think it's just fun to chat while you're putting on makeup. Also, it's relaxing. And whenever I'm getting ready, I always put on get ready with me's. I just like them. I'd love to do one when me and my friends are going out and we're drinking like a tipsy get ready with me for going out to the club. But let me know if you want to see that. And if you want to see, how I did this makeup not in any way not even close guys listen probably none of the things I did were right but it still turned out looking nice I think anyway so if you want to see this keep watching the video don't forget to like and subscribe and add me on Instagram so let's get into it my eyebrows are done benefit you already know I use Cabrow, Gimme Brow and Precisely My Brow. They are my favourite and they are what I use every day on my eyebrows. They look a bit weird now because I have no makeup on but we're going to fix that and I am going to show you how I do it. I I what am I at? Like I probably should have got like questions or something for this. Like get ready with me while we talk about stuff but I don't really have much to talk about. Well I do but I also only have an hour to do my makeup now because then I have to head out the door so to be honest maybe it's better that we are not talking. Let's just talk about makeup okay because I never really talk about makeup anymore because I'm not an MUA and I've since got like quite a few friends who are MUAs and they make me feel very unworthy <laughs> to even like I don't even like saying that I like makeup anymore because I'm like don't feel deserved in a way because I'm not talented in that area at all but I suppose makeup uh, there's not one way to do it everyone has a different way and it's fun for everyone so I suppose I do like makeup I especially like this makeup which is the Kaylee palette by Sosu I j honestly like it's just so uh, what else do you need I really don't know the thing that I do have lol is the Huda Beauty Rose Gold I like mixing the two I like the tones in this one but I like blendiness of this one if that makes sense and also this one is a mirror, like Kaylee knew, so soon knew, the two of them, pair of them, they knew. We need mirrors in our lives. I'm going to do my eyes quickly and get them out of the way. Concealer, so I'm taking, oh my god I really do sound like a Mua, wow. I like the Born This Way concealer, this is her, I like it. It's the Too Faced Conceal Contour Highlight Retouch, it's very good. Multi-use sculpting concealer, you get loads and like it's really big, like it's, you know, fucking massive. I got I have the shade nude and I really like this and it's really thick with like three C's like it's good as you can see I have adult acne now this is actually like healed this is not bad that this was a flare-up that was lasting months and I started jade rolling and it's honestly just been amazing for me and I highly recommend everyone just go to your closest pennies and find a jade roller or you know you could be bougie and get the proper ones they're amazing and they've really really improved my skin and even that like I just feel calm when I do it which is like a good thing for me because <laughs> I get stressed and overwhelmed so easily and where's my little brush that I like to do this with oh here we are I blob a bit of concealer on my veiny as fuck eyelids for two reasons the first reason is because obviously my eye okay three reasons I can think of actually First reason, my eyelids are veiny as fuck. We already know this. And I just like to cancel out all those veins. I don't, I really don't like veins. I don't mind blood. Like I get, like I bleed every month through my vagina. So I honestly don't mind blood. But it's the whole veins. I just hate them. And mine are really visible like everywhere in my body because my skin is translucent without tan. Um, which is probably another reason why I tan so much is because I, I, it kind of hides the veins and then it makes me happy. <laughs> I really don't like them. So it conceals the veins. And also... I like to carve out my eyebrows because my eyebrows are like uneven. I don't think anyone's eyebrows are ever fully even. Mine definitely aren't anyway. They're quite uneven actually. And I like to carve them out because it helps me make them more even. Like even this one is just always higher than this one. We won't think about it too long though. I just think we should just go with these things sometimes. Yeah, I try to make them more even. Yeah, that'll do. Probably didn't help at all. Beauty blender. And I just see no veins. Also primes the lids for eyeshadow. 
I'm presuming everyone watching this already understands how makeup works, so there's not much point in me explaining it that much. But just in case is like a primer for your eyelids as in it's a base it cancels out any other coloration so when you put colors on it it's wet and it's tappy so the colors the pigments stick to it and they're brighter does that make sense probably didn't explain it the proper way but that is the way that i understand it to work my eyelids are actually hella oily and no one has told me yet if i should set them or not like i've heard it from both sides um, I've heard don't set them at all because that defeats the purpose, you know, the, the eyeshadow is meant to stick to it. And then I've also heard like uh, set them or you'll sh it'll slide everywhere. So I do what feels right. I, I'm not, am I going to set them? I asked my friend Aaron Nguyen, he says don't set them but just pile on the eyeshadow. So the eyeshadow sets them. But you still get the pigmentation or whatever. So that I, I'm going to try that. Oh, she looking snitched and she looking snatched. I honestly look as pink as everywhere in my room right now, don't I? That rosacea though. I don't even think it's rosacea, I just think I'm rosy. Rosy as fuck. So, I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna use the Kaylee brush. Shock horror. S K S K S K S K O two. The flat one that's really good for blending. And I'm gonna take Prophecy, which is the darker brown over here. I'm gonna take this one first. You would normally think to use the lighter one, Saviour, but I'm actually gonna go in with this one. Pack it on then blend it out with Saviour instead of putting Saviour on all over and then going in with Prophecy. Just because this is the way the Insta makeup artists do it. And I'm hoping if I do it this way, I'll start looking like them in a while when I get good at it. That's my mentality behind it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm literally just gonna pat that on my eyeball in, into my crease and my outer corner. And I'm gonna kind of a little bit blend as I go. I love how this is me trying to explain what I'm... <laughs> it always looks shit until it's done, okay? If it's looking good as we're going, that's not right. It has to look shit. I'm joking, but mine just always looks shit until I put on lashes and then I'm like, oh, she cute. Oh, dear Lord. I'm actually giving myself a heart stop. It's been so long since I've filmed a makeup video. I just don't feel like I should be doing that anymore. And when people are like, oh, what do you do on YouTube? I'm always like, mm, I just talk about myself. Because I can't say I do makeup. Because I'm not good enough at makeup to say I do makeup. I also don't do enough fashion to say, oh, I do fashion. Because I kind of do. But I also don't do that much. I would like to do more. So what do I do on here? I just be me. I just do, I just be doing me. Most of the time. Living my best life. Gonna go in with Saviour now on a another brush this one is literally the pennies one 230 it's nice and big for blending so i'm taking savior which is the lighter brown this one and i'm gonna uh save my eyes a girl asked me to like do this tutorial so if you're that girl that asked like already look at that it's working it's working it's saving and um, if you're the girl that asked me to do this if anyone is in pain watching this you can blame that girl if not, if you're enjoying this then you should thank her because I wasn't going to do it but then she said do it and I was like yeah might as well see it's working do you see what I mean like imagine that cleaned up that's what we're going for I just think you can't go wrong with the brown smoky thing and some gold on it I just think it always looks quite nice oh amazing do you know what I'm going to do now I'm, I'm going to go into veil which is the white and I'm actually going to blend on the outsides like the real real outsides of saviour with the white just to blend them really seamlessly into my skin. I did this the last time and it worked. And it was one of my first times trying this. So I don't know if it's always going to work. Or maybe it just worked that time. But I'm going to try it again. Because I don't think it can cause any harm. Either way, we're going to go in with concealer and fix everything. Um, when I do my foundation after I finish my eyes. Yeah, she's working. I don't really like a harsh edge. I just like it to be like... You don't know when it starts and when it stops. It just looks like it's right. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Okay, do you know what? I'm going to put a little bit more prophecy on. Because I feel like we can do with a little bit more. This is no word of lie. Probably going to be the most basic tutorial of anyone using this palette you've ever seen. Tutorial, what am I? Get ready with me. Because I'm sure everyone else using these palettes is amazing makeup artists and do crazy looks and shit like that and I love watching them and I applaud them but honey that just ain't me I'd love to try and do like a big look to be honest if I do makeup on this channel it just doesn't go down well like people don't really watch it because like I feel like I have more talent than makeup so I feel like that's why makeup videos don't do as well so when people ask me to do makeup I'm kind of like maybe not <laughs> maybe not oh I'm looking smoky and seductive right now yes right you know what this one this is a powder and pout p310 and it's small and it's fluffy but it's small and fluffy that yeah 
I don't really have like, tapered kind of mini tapered I'm gonna go with oat which is the darkest brown in the palette and I'm just gonna put that right on my outer corner out here and a little bit into the crease but I'm gonna drag it into my eye a little bit just a hint of it as my granny would say just a taste just a taste of it yeah that worked they are dark okay now I'm gonna go back to that concealer and I'm this could go either way so what I do is I literally just do a blob here and here not too big of a blob and I'm not gonna look up because I don't want a structured cut crease if that makes sense oh my god did I just look up by accident oh shit I did frig oh my god this is just like a fluffy fluffy brush I would get a if I was doing a cut crease I would get a small brush and like proper care about my lid because I have hooded eyes but I just kind of want a, a lighter inner corner to put some gold shimmer over and I don't want it too structured I just want it to look like I woke up like that and really effortless and just literally like this is how I was made this is how it came out of the womb just with a, a gold smoky seductive eye you know so I'm literally just patting this with a kind of fluffy tapery brush just to lighten up that area so that the gold can go over it see what I mean and then I'm going to do the same on this eye Lads, I actually forgot how calm my makeup was like I'm literally just putting paint essentially powder paint on my eyelids and it's it's like meditation fucking love it okay so my eyelids are now more sticky and bare and I'm going to go in with 1996 which is the gold color here so pretty glittery shadows the shimmer glitter shadows in this palette and in the Huda Beauty palette they work really well if you use your finger but I have fake nails and I will stab myself in the eye if I do that and I've tried and it doesn't work that well Kaylee's the SK05 flat shadowy brush and I'm gonna put it into 1996 which is the year of her birth she's one year older than me and she's slaying and I'm literally just gonna pat that on my eye so you can see it's not like a structured cut crease but because I've hooded eyes putting the concealer on my eyelids first before I put a kind of shimmery color does help make my eyes kind of seem bigger if that makes sense um but without the structure because I want to look effortless and flawless a Kylie Agus Abuhali the glitters are looking good or well the 1996 looks good but it's just a little bit dark and I do like dark but I just want to brighten it up a little bit so that's why I have this palette this is the Huda Beauty rose gold textured palette I think it's actually discontinued now could be wrong I think she brought out like another one instead of it if that makes sense so I'm gonna take 24 karat gold the brightest gold that I own and probably a little bit of bless too and I'm going to pop them on top of 1996 just to brighten it up a little bit. So yeah, this is how we're looking now. Um, at this point, I kind of go in a bit more with some more prophecy and oath to darken it up if I feel like it needs to be darkened up. I'm probably just going to do a smidgen of darkness. Um, I just feel like, why not? You know? The best tip I have definitely picked up over the years is to blend on the outside of the colors because I used to literally like go in with big fluffy brushes all the time and just put colors down then put another color on and blend and blend and blend and be like over the same color whereas that wasn't blending the two colors together that was just making like a brown muddy color on my eye whatever colors I put down because I was mushing them all together whereas now when I blend I blend on the outsides and proper like barely touch the skin and I blend two colours together and sometimes it still turns into a big pile of poo on my eye but less times than before growth I still have not mastered the wing I used to wear wings all the time and then I realised I was just really bad at them and it was embarrassing so I stopped and I've kind of learned what suits my eye shape more um, and I go through different moods as well what I'm feeling like I would love to be able to do a wing and fucking look unreal with it but my eyes are hooded first of all a little trickier and they're really uneven and you probably don't notice it unless I point it out but they are quite uneven so it's again tricky so if anybody is up to the task of teaching me how to do wings on my eyes I would love I'd love to be able to if I can pull it off like if they suit me I would rock wings every fucking day because I love them yeah I'm actually quite proud of this I think this is quite good for me yeah right let's move on to eyeliner for eyeliner, I'm using Carter Beauty Supreme Gel Liner. Supreme Gel Liner? 
I think the Carter Beauty packaging is so gorgeous. I'm gonna give you a little zoom up there because she deserves it because it's done. Look at the packaging. It's all pretty and pink. That screws off and then the brush. You can use a different brush if you want, obviously, but it has a small one that comes with it. So it's handy for on the go. And then um, you can like pin it on so you have a proper pencil -y thing, you know. This was actually the one that Ariana Grande, Ariana Grande, that Ariana Grande's uh, makeup artist used on her in her breakup with her girlfriend, I'm bored. Break up with your boyfriend, I'm bored. Bre yeah. Break up with your spouse, I'm bored <laughs> video. I'm going to line my upper lid. I've already smudged it on my bottom. Ah! Oh my god, I actually didn't talk at all while I was doing that. Wow, the only way to shut me up is to make me do eyeliner, lol. Then I'm also just gonna put some on my waterline. And I'm gonna take a small little eyeliner brush as well. This one is the SK07, like it's tiny. And I'm gonna go into Sin, which is the black in the Kaylee palette. This one here. And I'm actually just gonna go over the liner with this because again I've hooded eyes so if I look up now that's gonna transfer it all over so I'm gonna like set the gel with the powder if that makes sense. And it also helps to make it last longer and it makes it super duper smoky. I think I actually could pass for a moo lot. That's a joke, don't take me seriously. <laughs> all the moo is in the corner are like, what did you just say? It looks weird when I just have a tight line under my eyes. I look honestly like an alien. But I'm going to put mascara on my top lashes. Then I'm going to do my face. And then when my concealer and all is done under here, then I'm going to smoke out the under. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I've said it and now I'll do it. I'm taking my rose gold eyelash curler, also known as the funnest torture device ever known to man. Joking. I actually don't mind it. It just looks crazy though, doesn't it? Like women have all these things that we do to ourselves. What do men do to them? They shave, if we're lucky. I'm lucky actually so proud of these eyes, lads. I've had fun while doing it too, which is the main thing. Oh, I forgot to tell you what mascara I'm using. I am using the pink Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And I can, well, I haven't had sex in a while. So it definitely is better than sex for me at the moment. That is my synopsis. Oh my God, I just blinked. <gasps> I kind of wiggle at the root and then I bring it up. I just keep doing that. And then I twirl my brush at the same time. I do a like two motioned action because I'm just that bitch. Cute. Now we're going to do my face. So I'm going to be taking a mixture of some foundations today, kids. I'm going to mix the Note Detox and Protect Foundation in shade 05 Honey Beige with... The Flormar Anti-Blemish Foundation in the shade Honey. They're both called Honey, aren't they? That's fun. Yeah, Honey and Honey Beige. Cute! I really like both of these. This one is a bit light for me and this one's a bit dark for me. That's why I'm mixing the two. Their consistency is different. This one is like mousse but liquidy, if that makes sense. And then this one is like thick, gloopy liquid, which I also like. I actually, this is anti-blemish. Like, this helps my spots. If I have really bad spots and I put this on, at the end of the day, it, they have improved and um, so I definitely need to get more of this and they're both like what do you call it like pharmacy brands like oh drugstore brands you know so they're um they're cheap enough they won't break the bank which is good it's good for all of us I don't care if you have loads of money or not it's it's always good to save them dollars because you can put those towards something else so how am I going to mix these on the back of my hands yeah right I'm going to do two pumps of the note and two pumps of the floor mark because I don't know we'll just keep it even I don't want any favoritism in this house and then I'm going to take my Zoeva buffer brush which is definitely seen better days it needs a new one look at that it's all scratched off yuck also um it needs a wash so lol I'm going to mix these together this is just like art class in school oh so much fun and then I'm just going to blob them around my face um more blobby motions where I have spots so around my cheeks and then I'm going to bring it down my neck obviously because we all want to be matching. That is the idea of life. Do you see now why there's so much makeup on this dressing gown? Lol. Just blending my boobs. At this point, I'm going to take a beauty blender and I'm going to do the rest with that. Because my forehead is too small for that big brush. And um, the beauty blender will do it better. Lads, we're looking very patchy. This isn't good. Why are we looking so patchy? Okay, so foundation isn't our friend today. But that, you know what? It's fine. Because I'm just going to cover it up with bronzer anyway. <laughs> First, I'm going to take these glow drops from Carter Beauty. This is the Get Lit Liquid Illuminator from Carter Beauty and it's like gloopy gold amazingness. And I'm going to put this two blobs either side of my face and I'm going to blend this out. And then underneath my concealer, 
it's going to be like shiny and then also my highlighter will stick to it more as well so it's like two levels of glow just in case we don't want to take any risks here that our glow might not be glowy enough that's why we're going to do two glows two different forms of glow is the only way to go i would have hoped at this point that it would have started to look a little bit better but it hasn't so again it's not going to look good until the end don't lose faith i'm putting concealer in the middle of my face <laughs> basically on my forehead my chin my nose and under my eye bags and i'm going to blend that in and blend it out oh my god this concealer is actually saving my life right now hello who is she she's back wow i am that bitch look at me i'm fucking hot i'm a ride don't even fucking talk to me don't 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 keep watching click off this video you don't need to look at me you don't deserve to look at me right i'm joking please keep watching this video like it subscribe if you haven't already my arm is about to fall off me with all this fucking blending oh my god what's that we are going to cream contour this is a foundation stick it's l'oreal infallible foundation stick and it's not it's just in a foundation shade it's not that i don't think it's an actual contour stick multi-use so yeah whatever you want basically but it's just a dark foundation shade i could possibly use this as tan when i'm tanned up to the max but now i'm not so i'm just gonna do a kind of a you know contour job on myself this is really excessive what i do but i just like doing it so it's how i do it i do this one and then i take my so su my much loved so su uh in shade two i take a bit of this on a stippling brush and i go over it that uh contour stick with this one and i darken up under my cheeks because i feel like they need a little bit more i don't know why i do this i just did it one day and i was like hmm, that's fun and then i kept doing it <laughs> and then i start blending it out with this brush just to help it a little bit and then i continue the blend with my sponge again which is very dirty and i need to wash it i know i'm sorry it's offensive looking she's actually starting to come together now yay after that i'm going to take my Too faced loose setting powder the translucent one i think so yeah translucent lightly dust this all over my face because i'm oily but i also don't like putting too much powder on oh my god i just put way too much out oh my god she says as she pours the whole damn thing onto her face. And I try to pat because that doesn't move the foundation around as much. Yeah, so I do a loose, a loose dusting of that. And now it's time to actually do some fun things. We're going to bronze up. So I'm using my Note bronzer in the shade 2 with a massive Kabuki brush. And I literally do not be precise with this at all. Boom, boom, boom. I just go for it. I kind of squidge the brush a little bit. And I just absolutely go for it. Because the brush is big enough that it is going to blend it all out. Sometimes it looks crazy while you're doing it. But again, trust the process. Oh my god, I'm actually really getting it on here now. I'm like, oh, that's disgusting. Trust the process, lads. It'll all look amazing in the end. A little bit on my nose. Okay, so then I've been enjoying blush lately. Kersha Beauty Blush palette in aphrodite aphrodite and i just go i kind of do these three. Oh, that's very don't want to be looking like a clown now i'm not contoured enough for my liking you're probably gonna laugh at me but i'm not so i go into hula by benefit and i take my weaver which is also gone to the dogs it's like a, a chiseled contoury brush i think it's called a face paint brush and i've hit pan on the hula but i just i tap and i just kind of chisel out my cheekbones and my nose a little bit more nose contour actually just transforms my whole life and i love it so much so much right i've had enough of this wonky hair i'm gonna smoke out under my eyes now so first things first ones sk03 pencily brush and i'm gonna take savior Lads, I honestly love smoking out under my eyes. I really feel like you can kind of see all your work come together when you smoke out under your eyes. And it doesn't suit everyone. Some people, they look better without smoked out underneath. Whereas I feel like the smokier, the better. Then I'm going to take another pencil brush. This one is from, I don't know where this one's from, but it's like not as soft as the Kaylee one. It's like a uh, hider. So I'm taking Prophecy, which is the darker brown. And I'm going to 
put this on top and then my friends this is how we got it super smoky i'm going to take the zoeva 226 smudger and i'm going to go into oath and i'm going to go right up to my tight line and kind of blend down the black gel that's in it she's smoky who is she we don't know her right let's do a bit of highlighting shall we i'm going to be taking my sleek palette and i haven't used this in the longest time i've been using like my doll beauty my be perfect and mitchell palette and that but i rearranged my makeup drawer recently and i was like oh my god there's so much in here that i just don't use and like i don't want to throw it out because i know it's good but i just don't reach for it because i have the new things so i was like I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna rotate it. And every couple of weeks, I'm gonna rotate it so there's like different products to the front. So I'm using different things all the time. Because I find if I'm using the same things all the time, I don't get as inspired. And I say that word lightly because I don't mean inspired as in like drawing snakes on my face and stuff like that, that loads of makeup artists are doing these days. But I just mean inspired for myself and my own face and doing my makeup day to day. If I have the same products and like that, I'm just gonna get bored. And I like to try different things on myself, even though it generally always looks the same. Um, I just like trying different things on my face and not being bored. I get bored way too easily. So that's why. So this is in my rotation this couple of weeks. It's the Sleek Solstice Palette. This is an OG. Like this is so like old, but like it's actually good. Um, I go first with, I use this with two brushes. I use it with a fan brush and then I use it with one of these special like smaller highlighting brushes. This is the Kaylee one as well, the SK01. And then this fan brush is the Zoeva uh, Lux fan brush. Three powders and then there's a cream. So you could put the cream on first and then put the powders on. But what I do is I just go in with the fan and I just lightly go all over the powders. And first I do that on my cheekbones. And then on my forehead, because I have no forehead whatsoever for the life of me. So I've started highlighting my forehead and I actually really ha like how it looks. Go on the cupid's wall and I go on my chin too and some of my nose. So that's like my base highlight. Then we go for this little brush here and we go in. So I take the orangey shade, the peachy shade, and I really go into it. And we just layer up the sheen. It's not like a glittery highlight. It's like a sheen highlight, like a wet, like you... You're literally like, it's just like someone dribbled on your face, but like the thing that dribbled on your face was a fairy and it was like magical. That's the weirdest explanation for highlight ever. Oh my God. So I just build up the sheen. Some people don't like how far in I bring my highlight. And to those people I say, fuck off. I would put highlight in every single location of my face if it was socially acceptable. And wouldn't you rather me bring in my highlight just a little bit more than your fancy than for me to do the other? Probably. So take your opinion, shove it up your hole. And then I do the inside of my forehead between my eyebrows here. I don't know why I do it. I started doing it recently and it kind of makes you look oily, but I also kind of like it. So I just keep doing it. Cupid's bow, chin. Then we take a little shadow brush. This is Zoeva one. And I go to the lightest color and I go down my nose, the tip of my nose, and then in my inner corners. I'm gonna do my lipstick. So my lipstick recently has been fun, it's been different. It's not actually lipstick. I have two lip liners and then I have a lip gloss. This is actually a really new addition. I literally wore this yesterday in the video I filmed which you asked me about this makeup look. But this is the Glass Bitch by So Su. And this is in the shade Cosmic Lover. No, just Cosmic Love, love. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take my note pencil. This is Zandy 01 and it's like a really pale pink. And I'm literally gonna overline my lips and fill in my lips. Then I'm gonna overline my lips with my Inglot one, which is like a brownie color. I actually don't know the name of that one, but we'll do this one first. Then I just go around the outsides with the brown. Oh, she cute. And then I go on with my gloss over top. Never thought it was going to be a gloss girl, lads. And when gloss came back into fashion, I was like, oh no, 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 no. But then people started making proper glasses. Not this cheap shit that I've had for magazines for years and years and years ago that I thought was the epitome of a gloss. People have reinvented the gloss and I'm living for it because the new glosses, like the 2019, 2018 gloss revamp, has just been so much more and better than I expected. So this is like a brown, a nudie brown gloss. Look at that, how could you not shift this? That's a, it's a serious, genuine question. I am gorgeous. Smell, the taste, everything, freaking love that gloss. 13 euro, you can't go wrong. 
just bring it everywhere bring it everywhere it's just i'm glass bitch as well okay that's enough so sue me for i'm not even paid she doesn't know i exist actually she does i met her twice lol i would normally put on lashes for an everyday kind of look but since i'm filming for the video and if i was like going to take instagram pictures or whatever you know that i would put on a full face of day makeup for like glam day makeup i will put on lashes to be honest if i'm just talking about my day-to-day -day makeup i don't do all this i do eyebrows a bit of brown eyeshadow mascara concealer foundation bronzer and highlight and then some form of lipstick lip balm i don't really care that much and um, but this is like glam day makeup so this is like glam makeup but day appropriate to be honest i'd wear this at night it's just kind of glam makeup to be honest isn't it i'm gonna pop on lashes and then i'll be back and i'm back with lashes on these are just the pennies wispy slash extravagant lashes the ones i was wearing yesterday when i got asked to do this makeup were actually the queen ones which were part of the lauren pope collab with so sue me so sue by sj but uh i just don't feel like putting on big massive lashes right now because where i'm going is gonna be like probably lots of old people and they're gonna just look at me irregardless so i'm just wearing like small little ones for now and these are grand for every day they just kind of look like lash extensions actually they're really natural which is why i like them and they're cheap 150 can't go wrong yeah this is my everyday makeup look i'm gonna put up a blog post with a link to all the stuff that i've used so uh the link to that will be in the description box below so you can go click that and then you'll have a list of everything that i use and you'll be able to look at it whenever if you're interested um in anything like that other products i use i like i'm not paid to talk about anything in this video at all i do collab with benefits sometimes but this is uh the products are gifted this is not what part of that collab or whatever this is just a uh, decided by me talked about by me no words are put in my mouth for this video which i feel like i have to say because i feel like everyone just presumes that when you're using a product it's like product placement nowadays and that's not the case like we're still consumers we still have to use things and um, if i do do videos where i'm paid to talk about stuff i'll be proud to be asked to talk about stuff um and you should be happy for me too let's have less of this cattiness in the interwebs please thank you okay so that is my video thank you so much for watching this and sitting through me talking and plastering myself with uh makeup and yeah if you did like it give it a like if you have any other videos you would like to see from me comment them down below follow me on instagram add me on snapchat match with me on tinder if you're hot i actually can't take myself seriously okay i'm going now um yeah subscribe bye <laughs>